North America, the third largest continent on Earth, located entirely in the Northern Hemisphere. North America is bordered to the north by the Arctic Ocean, to the east by the Atlantic Ocean, to the south by the Caribbean Sea, and to the west by the Pacific Ocean. Before North America was discovered by Christopher Columbus, it was actually inhabited by the indigenous people who are thought to have been hunters crossing the Bering Land Bridge about 40,000 years ago. The Bering Land Bridge is the crossing between today's known as the Eastern Siberia and Alaska. These tribes were exposed to an invasive threat during the 15th century, also known as the Age of Discovery, when the Europeans explored various parts of North America and eventually managed to colonize the continent through violent wars, but also by spreading diseases for which the Native American people did not have enough immunity to combat. But centuries later, some of the American tribes are still found in different parts of North America. And two of the largest tribes are the Navajo and Cherokee tribes. Nowadays, North America is composed of 23 countries. The largest country is Canada. The richest one is the United States. And Mexico City in Mexico is the most populated one. The enormous island of Greenland and the small islands in the Caribbean Sea are also part of this continent. There are hundreds of national parks in North America. Some of the most well-known ones are Glacier National Park, Montana, USA. It has some of the most impressive scenery of rock, ice, water and wood in one single place. Glacier is often referred to as the crown of the continent, and it has taken its name by the many glaciers found in the mountains around. Thousands of plants and animal species live here. Some of the most common plants found in Glacier National Park are the chocolate lily, the Indian paintbrush, the lupine, and some of the mammals living here are the grizzly bears, elks, which feed on grass, plants, leaves and bark, there are also mountain goats. These animals are suited to live in higher elevations and have the ability to climb slopes at 60 degrees, making it impossible for other predators to catch them. Then there's the bighorn sheep. They also live in the highest peaks and their ability to climb steep terrain helps them escape and stay away from other predators. Mountain lions are the largest feline in North America. Mountain lions are solitary mammals, and they feed on elks, bighorn sheep, and other smaller animals. Let's now visit another national park. Banff National Park in Canada is Canada's first national park, also part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its breathtaking scenery of rocky mountain peaks and turquoise glacial lakes have ranked this national park as one of the most beautiful ones. Some of the animals you can encounter here are grizzly bears, elks, bighorn sheep, hoary marmot, Marmots are made for digging and spend the winters hibernating in their burrows. 
Death Valley National Park in California. Death Valley is the hottest and driest national park in the USA. It is also the lowest point in North America. It is 82 meters below sea level. But despite the extreme conditions of this valley, many plants and animals have made Death Valley their own home. Bobcats, mountain lions, squirrels, road runners, lizards, tortoises, or plants such as wildflowers and cactus are found in this valley. Now, just to give you a little bit of a shock, ever thought there would be fish in one of the hottest and driest places on Earth? The answer is yes. There are various species of fish in Death Valley. They have adapted the extreme conditions and can actually survive in the salty waters of Death Valley. One of them is the Devil's Hole pupfish, which lives in the Devil's Hole. This fish is actually considered one of the rarest fish on Earth. Yellowstone National Park, mostly in Wyoming, but also covering some parts of Idaho and Montana, is the first national park in the USA. And not only, Yellowstone is also considered the world's first national park. It is famous for its breathtaking scenery, wildlife, and gazers. Gazers? Yes, gazers are considered to be very rare hot springs that erupt by throwing water and steam into the air. They are holes that go very deep into the Earth's crust and when in contact with magma, this water heats up and eventually explodes. As you can now imagine, Gazers are encountered in volcanic areas, and Yellowstone is one of those places as it is centered over one of the largest supervolcanoes of the continent, the Yellowstone Caldera, which is thought to have the largest magma chamber in the world. Yellowstone is home to amazing wildlife, plants, reptiles, birds, fish, amphibians, etc. Let's name a few. Black and grizzly bears, cougars, coyotes, gray wolves, otters, wolverine, beaver, chipmunks, marmot, bisons, trout, etc. Great! Time to move on into another unique place. The Joshua Tree National Park in South California. This place was named after the many Joshua trees that grow here. It is composed of rock formations as well as desert landscape. Some animals living in the Joshua National Park are the black-tailed jackrabbit, snakes, scorpions, roadrunners, etc. Grand Canyon National Park Grand Canyon is one of the most visited national parks in the United States. It is composed of red rocks and each of the rocks contains horizontal layers that have been carved over millions of years. The depth of the Grand Canyon is the result of the cutting action of the river, but its great width is explained by rain, wind and temperature. The animal life in the Grand Canyon area is quite abundant. Here you can find many varieties of squirrels, coyotes, foxes, badgers, 
bobcats, rabbits, and many others. Arches National Park in Utah. More than 2,000 natural sandstone arches are found here. Most animals have evolved to be nocturnal, being most active at night. These nocturnal animals include mountain lions, bats, owls, foxes, kangaroo rats, skunks, mule deer, and bobcats. This was quite an intense video. So much we learned about North America that I wouldn't want you to leave this video without taking a quick short quiz to recall some of the things we discussed earlier. Let's go! Question number one. North America is not bordered by the Caribbean Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, the Arctic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, or the Atlantic Ocean? The right answer is the Mediterranean Sea. Indeed, the Mediterranean Sea is located between Europe, North Africa, and Western Asia. Question number two. North America is the largest continent on Earth, the smallest continent on Earth, or the third largest continent on Earth. North America is the third largest continent after Asia and Africa. Next question. European people were the first people to step foot in North America. Yes? Or no? In fact, North America was inhibited by the indigenous people thousands of years before the European people stepped foot in there. Question number four. North America is composed of 52 countries, 48 countries, or 23 countries. The right answer is 23 countries. Question number 5. Most of the geysers in the world are found in the Grand Canyon National Park, Yellowstone National Park, Banff National Park, or Dev Valley National Park. Which one do you think is the right answer? Yes, you are right! Most of the geysers in the world are found in Yellowstone, and that's because the largest magma chamber in the world is found just below Yellowstone, the Yellowstone caldera. This explains the fact that so many geysers are found in there. Question number 6, and the last one. Which of the listed animals does not live in North America? Black bears, bighorn sheep, cougars, koala, or elks? This should be very easy for you to answer. Koala is actually an animal that is only found in the continent of Australia. Good job! I hope these simple questions refresh some of the information you were provided in this video. Our next stop is the fourth largest continent on Earth, South America, so stick with me to learn some more. See you in our next video!